All right, so a while back on my channel, I made a video on on using broadsides correctly. And I is essentially a rant video going off at Archer. He was just being lazy at the time. He knows better about sending broadsides off into the wind and uh, not essentially doing any damage at all. And it was just the last time I wanted to see that. But it's been a few months and I still see it. Every time I seem to drop into a help stream, somebody's in somebody's storm shield, broadsides are just shooting off into nothing. So, I have decided that I'm going to go ahead and do my best to articulate why... Okay, did I actually start from the same running position in both videos? That's kind of amusing. Why you want to use a broadside with the wall on the other side. So, I corralled a bunch of enemies here. It was kind of nice. We had a healer. And I just wanted to really show you guys why you don't want to shoot against nothing. Look at that. This is like best case scenario with some shielders. This is what happened. You can see in this test, we had, uh, what was that? Maybe six or seven impacts, but that's only because the shielders were floating up there. Most of the baby zombies just didn't get hit at all. A bigger target like a smasher would take more damage, but you're just shooting off into nothing and doing basically no damage. If you put a wall on the other side, even two tiles away, which is not recommended, it's still better because those cannonballs can bounce. They will come back and do even more damage yet. You can see, I'm not going to give you exact, I'm not going to count it, but that was definitely at least twice as much damage. And I'm going to run them through right back here, right one more time, and you guys can see it once again, that you are getting way more impacts just from a wall two tiles away, and that's not even recommended. If we fast forward to one tile away, it was kind of a bad test, but you can still see See way more impact now a point that I'm gonna make later on in the video is that if you're gonna have one broadside you should always have another one on the other side but you can see way more collisions there some of our enemies are even dead so take that for what it's worth it's not a perfect test those don't really uh, those are a little hard to record but I did another one uh, where I showed exactly the same thing one tile away it shoots off does ba basically no damage and uh, I'm gonna get to my better point in a, bit, in a second here but oh I think I skipped past that sorry guys so you can see another big crowd of enemies I only hit three that time again not an exhaustive test but if you don't have a wall to bounce against you're really really wasting your broadsides so let me skip ahead to a point i wanted to make where uh if you are going to be using broadsides like this you always want to have one on the other side and two broadsides facing each other is ideal you can have a wall lights on the other side but i always recommend a floor freeze on the floor here i actually have an entire video on my trap tunnel guide linked down below that will show you full-on tunnels that is not what this video is about i just wanted to talk about why and you're gonna see here once more that you get so many more so, so many more hits so much more damage and when it just shoots off into nothing those are just it's just damage those cannonballs are just damage being wasted and i'm, I'm kind of showing this again reiterating my point so finally let's show it with two uh this is not going to be a perfect test but you can see with two broadsides we almost killed the nurse i think we did kill the nurse there so it is you know if you're going to have a broadside facing into a wall two facing each other that is a very 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 good way to do a ton of damage very quickly that is one of the best ways to eliminate a smasher it is my go-to way to kill a mini boss is just stand in a trap vulnerable mini boss uh like just stand right next to him box yourself in with four broadsides and uh that mini boss is not going to last very long at all thank you guys so much for watching hopefully this psa does a little bit to help you guys see less of this in public lobbies. I do not want to see any more retrieve the datas. I don't want to lurk any more streams. Not people screwing with me. I don't want to see anybody truly defending or retrieve the data by putting four broadsides on either side. That is not the play. That is <laughs> make it a sound wall or like a floor freeze on the floor and a gas trap on top. That's what you want to do. Or if you're going to have a cube, if you're going to have, I have a redstone block right here. I can, I can demonstrate. If you're going to have your retrieve the data box, you know, and this is one side of the wall, put a wall on this side, put a wall on the other side, two broadsides facing each other. That will be way more damage, way more useful. Maybe not the recommended way. There are a lot of ways to trap a retrieve the data, but, uh, try to be smart, you know, learn from, from, from your mistakes and, and please stop, stop using broadsides wrong.